passion, creativity, fellowship, and friends. The perfect mix. PC House Productions. Whatever you want with that thing, because there's always an so Hey, everybody, and welcome to this episode of The Common Chef. I'm Sam Betty, and tonight I am going to get you skewered. When we Common Chefs, we go into the store, we always have a, an outline in mind, but none of us ever really know what we're doing for sure. We like to look at the specials, especially me. I want to see what's on sale. We gravitate towards the cheese and the bacon first. We got so many different kinds of cheeses. We consult with the deli counter, we taste different things. You got your cheddars, your gorgonzolas, your gruyere, your munster. You got soft, you got hard, you got sharp, you got mild. It's just unbelievable how many different flavors you can have. So you have to sample them to see what's going to go into the dish properly. But on this occasion, I'm going to bake and wrap some beautiful sea scallops, a little sirloin that I'm going to chunk up about the same size. And we're going to top that with some jalapeno, some teriyaki glaze, maybe a little blackened. And we're going to have it probably three ways. On top of that, we're going to do some rice with some almonds and jalapenos, some green beans with peppers, onions. Melinda! How you doing? This is where all the magic begins. Don't film this crap. Explain to us what you're doing here. Oh, who is this? This is crap, because I'm not using fresh scallops, because I couldn't find any, because they don't have any right now. So I have to thaw my scallops. I don't like frozen scallops. So if you're thawing scallops, what's the, what's the rule? What do you do? You run them under cold water. You run them under cold water? Yeah. You can't mumble. You run them okay. under cold water, sir. All right, good. And upon running them under cold water, you want to be careful, because too much cold water or warm water will break down the meat of the scallop. you got to be careful. You don't want to destroy them. I'm going to keep them whole, pretty, like a fine woman. What I'm going to do with these bad boys here, these are some nice little sirloins. I'm going to take, and I'm going to carve these up into about a scallop-sized piece. And I'm going to do the same thing with these that I do with those lovely scallops. Oh, you better wait till the professional camera guy comes here before you explain everything. There he is. Camera Speaking of professional cameraman, I've been I've been uh, filling in for you, Tommy. <laughs> All right, who needs a drink? I, I, I could use a, a cocktail. <laughs> www.indianajonesfanclub.com. <laughs> <laughs> You know, a lot of people find prep work to be quite tedious. In this group setting, I find it to be the time where we can commune, we can talk. My fellow common chefs can give me some input as to what I'm doing with my dish. Maybe they have an idea that I didn't have. I'm going to take these bell peppers that I've chopped, I'm going to put all of them Can I say the F word? Food? Handy little gadget. If you don't have one, you like garlic, you need one. Into the rice. Press it through. I've got olive oil. Don't be scared of your olive oil. A little pepper. How come Hi. one's always missing? Hey, <laughs> I know we world cup this year because you can't to get too much to brain raised. power in one room at the same time. You can melt the place down. That's exactly why. Don't, 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 don't stop. You want to make sure they're cooking evenly. You know, stuff on top, obviously. It's not going to cook as fast as the stuff on the bottom. So. 
Check my rice. It's coming along well. Absorbing all the moisture. Looks nice and fluffy. I think I can go ahead and actually add some of these almonds to my rice. Put a few more in here just for good measure. Can't have too many rice. Almonds are good for your heart. You're health conscious. And for those of you out there, I am using whole grain brown rice. No white bleached rice. Billy's very carb conscious, so I gotta watch out for that. Check on this. Ooh! And now, to the point where I need to pull this some and give these a turn. <clears throat> Steak, primarily. Scallops. I'll leave. Scallops over here, see them turning a nice white color, you know they're done when they're solid white, you don't see any pearlescence left in the scallop. I'm just an innocent bystander really, when you break it All down. Right. So, hey. uh, Billy, yes. spell hors d'oeuvres. <laughs> hors d'oeuvres. <laughs> there you go, perfect. PC, you have anything to say? How's what? You have anything to say? I have so many things to say that I would probably bore you to tears with all of the things I have to say exactly. Probably shouldn't say anything at this point. And I think we are complete on our meal. The rice has absorbed all of its moisture. It's ready to go, rocking and rolling. These green beans right here softened up some. The peppers and onions look like they have a good thorough glaze going from the olive oil and the steam. And if we take one last look down here, everything is bubbling. The bacon has started to crisp, most of the fat's off. The steak looks like it's got a nice done to it. And our broiled scallops are perfect. These are the bacon wrapped scallops, jalapeno topped, and without jalapeno, all teriyaki. These are broiled and blackened scallops to a varying degree. The children like them a little less blackened than the adults. We've got our sirloin skewers, bacon wrapped with no jalapeno, and bacon wrapped with jalapeno. There's some teriyaki on these, so it's going to bleed down into this a little bit. But these basically just have a little sprinkle of the blackened seasoning as well. Give them a little spice. Awesome. Action. We have another successful <laughs> evening here at the Common Chef House. Pull the, pull the Hold on a second. What's uh, ringing? What's ringing? However, the tastes were, were phenomenal. The jalapenos were a nice touch. <laughs> jalapenos are, 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 are a winner. Jalapenos, hot pepper is always a winner. But it wouldn't have been possible. This, this evening would have been possible without the alcohol. Right? <laughs> alcohol? Yeah. Is there more? I thought it was all gone. It's over there. Right hot there. damn it. What, uh, we need to come up with a clever sign off. Go and ahead. I guess it. that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Grr. Hey, Grr. Hey, 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 this is us signing off. <laughs> and Billy's leaving. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we awesome. do it. I love that thing. <laughs>